something's happening to Boo. Wait a sec, Vegeta. Is it just me, or is his energy increasing? <laughs> it's not possible. He's reverting back. Reverting back? What do you mean? The Majin Buu that Bibidi created was evil incarnate. Something even he himself couldn't control. It wasn't until the mild-mannered Grand Supreme Kai was absorbed that Bibidi could finally control him. So, what you're saying is, this little Buu now is even more of a handful than what we've been dealing with? Yes. Absorbing others had a dampening effect on him, but now, now his evil is unrestrained. He's lost all self-control and is again pure evil. <laughs> what? What is that? What's he doing? Whoa, unbelievable! That was close. He tried to blow the whole planet to pieces. Dang that little bastard! Hey, Boo! Go ahead and destroy the planet if you want! But you'll have to go through us first! No way we can knock that thing back! The others! Vegeta, over here! I'm gonna get us all out of here! Yeah! Grab onto me! It's no use! We're not gonna make it! I can't use instant transmission fast enough! Hey! Well done! You made it! Yeah, we did. But Gohan and the others... and Earth... K Kakarot! What the hell have you done? Why did you bring these fools instead? <laughs> uh, uh, well, what about Earth? It's gone, I'm afraid. Nothing but space to be. <laughs> Uh, Earth? Gone? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're standing on it. Wait. I know what's going on. This is all a dream. <laughs> Damn it, Kakarot. Gohan and the others are all dead because you decided to save this dumbass instead. And now Earth and everyone on it can't be brought back. The Dragon Balls, the only safety net we had, are gone. What? Dragon Balls? Why in the world were there Dragon Balls on it? Those are forbidden, powerful objects entrusted to only the Namekians. No one else should possess them. Th that's right. If we head to New Namek, the new Grand Elder should be able to give us access to the new Dragon Balls. We can't do it. We could bring back Earth With Planet Namek back, I should be able to teleport between here and other planets with no problem. All right. <gasps> Take a look! Majin Buu's returning to his original shape! Ah! 
Here, give your Patara to Goku and Vegeta. They should be able to beat him if they fuse again. Uh, uh, right. Nah, we don't need those. Huh? Yeah. That type of fusion technique really isn't for us. I want to fight him on my own anyway. Besides, he's not relying on anyone else's power. That's anymore. what I like to hear, Kakarot. You're finally talking like a Saiyan. Uh -huh. Believe this. He saw my instant transmission before and cut. Well, whatever. That saves us some trouble. We'll just get out of here. Find some faraway planet and take everyone with you. Uh, okay. Oh, right then. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Pay no mind to this world of ours. Go all out and show that monster what. Good luck. Uh, oh no! I forgot to bring that Satan fellow with us. Forget about him for now. All right. Who's going first? Let's find out. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors! scissors. Yes, I win! Woohoo! <laughs> At least I'll finally be able to see this Super Saiyan 3. Yeah, let's do this! Hmm? Hey, are you little...
something else. I think I finally figured it out. I think I know why a genius like me can't keep up with you. I thought it was because you had people you wanted to protect. It was as if having a strong desire to save others gave you some mysterious power. And maybe it does in some way. I too have those I care about now. But you are always different. You don't fight to win. You fight to continue pushing yourself past your own limits. That's why you never took the lives of your opponents. You... You even had the opportunity to kill me. But you didn't. You didn't. Damn you, Kakarot. I can't believe a battle-loving, kind-hearted saint like you even exists. You're in trouble now, Boo. Here comes my full power, Kamehameha! <laughs> Only you can do this. You are number one.